Hey guys, super quick video for today, but I wanted to show you one of the great features that you can do using the Move tool in Fusion. I'm going to start by splitting this body down its diagonal edge using the plane through two edges. So I'm going to click here, and I'm going to click here, and I'm going to split this body in half too. Now when I right click and I go to Move, You'll see that I have an option here that says faces. Now by default this is going to be set to bodies, but you can now actually select the faces and modify those. Now when I hover over it you'll see that my orbiter is asking me where I want to set it, and when I pick that diagonal edge there it's actually going to snap to be in parallel with the edge line. Now I can grab these faces and you can see that as I edit it I'm actually also editing the geometry too. So if I grab that and pull it that way I can create some really great shapes really, really easily. If I pull that up and down, you'll see that it's also going to move it along the vertical axis. Super handy. So after that, I'm going to right click and I'm going to move again. And I'm going to grab this face. Now I'm going to start turning it this way and you'll see that once I get to a certain point, it actually looks like the geometry is broken. But once I hit OK, Fusion will actually rebuild that and get rid of those extra faces that you don't need and you'll just see a move tool down here in the timeline. Now creating this shape manually is actually quite a lot of work but doing it this way means I can get the results I want really really quickly and end up with great angular cool looking faces super fast. That's it for today, hope that's a useful video and catch you next time.